Hello and welcome everybody to another tutorial of Dungeon Fog. My name is Till and today I want to show you the new features that we have recently implemented. First off, let's start with the new tool that we have recently added, the Bucket Tool. We've added the Bucket Tool so that you don't have to change each, each room separately, but you can apply floor texture, wall texture and wall type just by clicking on each room. Let's do that and let's start with changing the wall type to cave and the floor type to this one. I have selected those and now by clicking on each room I can apply that. I personally don't like the cave style here so I'm going to change that. There you go. Another way to speed things up is with the pipette. You can pick up styles and apply them to other rooms. So in our case, let's pick up this style. And now that it's in our tool, we can apply that to every room by just clicking on it. Okay, another new feature that we have implemented is we reworked our layers and levels. So instead of having layers and levels just in the small area here, we have shifted it over to the right, where you now have a lot of space to organize your stuff. But most importantly, we have added a new feature, the groups. To show you how the groups work, let's just scroll up here to my house. And as you see, I have the house here with the living rooms and everything else. And I want to organize this one into one group. So I will start and create a new group, name that one house. There you go. Don't forget to hit enter. And I want to shift things into this folder. So what I can do is I can drag and drop them onto the folder. The yellow bar indicates that I'm going to put it in here. There you go hallway and dining room. So now I have everything in my folder and when I select the folder you see those new drag handlers here indicating that you can now shift the whole folder and every room inside of it gets moved to. In case you want to remove a room from your folder simply drag it up to the breadcrumb up here and once you release, it will be removed. In our case, let's put it back in here. And there's another important thing I want to show you. When you want to draw a room and you want the room to be part of this folder, just click on the folder and start drawing. And the room will be added automatically to the group that you have already selected. And last but not least, creating those groups is not only helpful to organize your map, but it also has an influence on how the gem nodes work. So let's have a look at the gem nodes. The rooms that were uh, previously listed just below are now grouped. So uh, as we see here, each group is now displayed as one image containing all the rooms and all the room descriptions. So this will help you a lot to organize uh, sections of your dungeon or houses into one complete image together with all the uh, according notes that you need. All right, that's for this update. So. As always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have fun testing the new features and let us know what you think on Discord or on the forums. Bye!